needs to have this baby now. Yeah, I'm not helping you induce labor, just a fool, Rex. Oh, wait, I thought you said that was, this was safe. Maybe it is. Stacy. I don't know. I don't know, okay? What I do know is that it's not right, and I'm not going to do this to my child. We have a deal, Skye. You help us get this baby out of Stacy now. Rex doesn't find out it's yours, and Gigi will never find out you slept with Stacy. Everybody wins! Yeah, you know what? That's, that's not important to me anymore. Mosca, wake up! You have to get back to Stacy? We think it's gonna be a while. Do we? Look, I saw how upset you were before when I came in here with Stacy, and I wanna make things right for you. For us. I think it's a little late to make things right between us. Things started going south as soon as Stacy hit town. Now she's having your baby. It must have been kind of awful running into her here today. I've had the last nine months to get used to the idea, right? Not like I didn't know this day would come. I don't think any of us were exactly ready for it. But now that it's here, all this pain that I thought I had set aside, it all came rushing back to me. I don't care what's important to you. This baby's important to me and I need to have it now. So give me that shot. Now. Do it, Sky. before Rex gets back. Come on! Rex is one closed door away from finding out this baby isn't his. Yeah, what if something goes wrong? It'll just inject me and we'll get my doctor. Doctors don't fix everything. Yeah, well, they charge like they can. Look, look if something happens to this kid because we did this, because I did this, mm -hmm. how am I supposed to live with myself knowing that I hurt my own child? So what? You're just deciding this now? When Rex already thinks Stacy's in labor and we have no time to make another plan. I didn't just decide this now. I tried to tell myself it was okay. I even had myself pretty convinced. But now that I'm standing here with a needle in my hand, no, can't. Then give it to me. Give me the needle. I'll do no. it. Uh, I, I, I don't know. That's such a good Nobody idea. Nobody is doing anything. Okay? What do you want, Sky? Nothing. Well, you must want something, because clearly Gigi isn't enough. So what is it? Huh? Money? Drugs? You want a few free lap dances? Don't you understand? This isn't about that. Then what is it about? Tell me, Gigi, the truth. It's bad enough that my sister's having your baby, but... Seeing you take such good care of her, getting her to the hospital, making sure she's all right, buying her lollipops, for God's sake. I'm, I'm sorry. When Shane was born, I took a taxi to the hospital. Yeah, you told me. And when I was paying the driver, counting at last of my tip money, I just kept thinking, this is not how it's supposed to be. But that wasn't the worst thing about it. The worst thing was walking into the hospital all alone. I was in labor for 12 hours, Rex, and I spent every agonizing minute wishing to God I knew where you were. So you could kill me? No, so I could call you and ask you to come and be with me. You want to tell Gigi the truth? you lost your mind? If you do that, she'll run away from you so fast you'll get whiplash. Maybe she will. What do you think's gonna stop her? Maybe she'll understand. <sighs> Maybe she'll even forgive me. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh -huh. You know, she did tell me she loves me. Maybe that's enough. Gigi, look, I, I swear that if I had known that you were pregnant, I know. things... It's my fault for not telling you. But you never gave me a chance. You didn't even leave me any way to reach you. And I wish I had, okay? I will never stop regretting that I was not there for you. It's just, that's, that's what makes this all so hard. All this time you've been looking after Stacy, giving her a place to live, going to all those doctor's appointments with her, making sure she's okay, it just reminded me of how alone and scared I was. Between contractions, I kept wondering how you'd ever find me in Texas. 
So I'd al I had almost wished that I had stayed in Michigan after my parents tossed me out. Almost. Jeez. Anyway, it was a long time ago, and we can't change it now. And it's not really anybody's fault, even. It's just that today, I wish that I had had what you were giving Stacy. The best. Stacy does not have the best of me. And my heart might be with the baby, but my, my heart is not with Stacy. My heart still belongs to you. Wow, Gigi must really love you. I mean, if you think she can forgive you for sleeping with Stacy. Okay, give it a rest. She's not winning a Nobel Prize, okay? Uh, I, I, I don't know, Sky. You know how much my sister actually hates okay, me. You know what? You know what? It was one time, and it doesn't count when you drug me. Yeah, Stace, give Gigi a little credit. I mean, if she can forgive Rex for sleeping with you on the UV floor, I'm sure she can forgive Skylar here. Okay. Okay, I, I, I know what and you're doing. And if Gigi can forgive Rex for knocking you up, then I'm sure she can forgive Skylar for... Oh, wait. She didn't forgive Rex. In fact, that's the reason she left him. Are you through? Come on, Skylar. Okay, if you're going to be honest with your girlfriend, try being honest with yourself. Gigi is never going to be okay with this. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's a chance I'm going to have to take. <gasps> to do now don't worry there's more of that <sighs> well you're not getting it from me you stupid bastard you think Gigi loves you she doesn't she loves that nice sweet guy who was always there for her when Rex wasn't the guy who could never lie to her the guy she thought she could always trust no matter what where is that huh because I don't see him do you yeah which is exactly why I have to come clean and you think that's all it's gonna take huh and she's just gonna forgive you, go back to the way things were? After you've been lying to her every single day? Wake up, Skylar! Nobody loves anyone that she, much. If Gigi doesn't forgive me, that's my own damn fault, and that's the price I have to pay. But guess what? This is not happening. It's over. If you really love Gigi, you couldn't do this to her. Rex, stop it. Please. <laughs> Tell me that your heart still belongs to me. But it does. My sister is having your baby right now. Okay, telling me that it doesn't do any good for either of us. Don't say that. But it's true. I spent all those years hoping you'd come back to me. Thinking, knowing that if you did, everything would be perfect. It was perfect for a little while. And then it wasn't. And I still didn't want to let go. I, I kept holding on until you finally did what had to be done. You put us out of our misery. I never wanted this. I know, but it's all right. We're all better off now. I should get back to Stacy. I have to get going too. It's supposed to snow up in the mountains and I want to get up there before it starts coming down. Uh, wait, you're... You're going to Vicky's cabin where you, you and Skylar first hooked up? Is he going to be there with you? Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to leave, and then I'm going to go up to that cabin, I'm going to meet Gigi, and I'm going to tell her everything. How do you think that's going to make her feel, huh? Hurt. Hurt and upset. No. She's not gonna be hurt. She's not gonna be upset. She's gonna be destroyed. No, she's a stronger person than that. Wait, if that were true, why would she need you? You're her knight in shining armor, Sky. How do you think she's gonna feel when you turn out to just be another guy who lied to her to get her into bed? You know, when you put it that way, it almost sounds accurate. Don't do this, Sky. Don't tell her you're the father. If you really love her the way you say you do, you won't hurt her like this. Rex already did that. You need to save her. Save her from the truth. 